Good evening YouTube and tonight have we got a surprise for you. We are making short series of videos in the Netherlands and one of the things we'll be doing is a few of the differences between the United Kingdom and the Netherlands. So today on my visit to Lidl this is what we've discovered. Pearl and Batter Premium Pilsner. Now anybody from the UK will be used to this bottle Pearl and Backer, rated as three stars, so it's obviously as good as we're going to get. Um, there is a smaller bottle of Pearl and Backer, and there is another can, uh, well, there's some green cans available in the UK. Uh, the white cans, which are featured here in the Netherlands, um, we're not familiar with these in the UK, or, or I'm not familiar with them. They are, um, we've got a Belgian and... Um, says LU, I assume it's Luxembourg though. They would really want some German and some English as well as some French in Luxembourg. But we've got Netherlands and uh, BE. So we've got some Dutch writing on it. Um, it says uh, Gerard produced in Frankrijk for um, Little Netherlands GmbH. Adhausen, Little Belgium, Gayum de Hart and Co. Gildenspark, Metalbeck. So, it's for the Dutch and Belgian market. So, yeah, that's fantastic. That's what we've got to look at tonight. However, <clears throat> what else we did see on further examination is some more Pearl and Backers. No bottles at all available. I've seen these first four here. So, we've got the pill back a Rattler. Half litre. We've got the same kind of steel. It's produced. Uh, no, we've got German writing on there. Italian. Um, FRB, French, Belgium. Uh, Frankrijk, Belgium. Uh, Netherlands, Belgium. We've even got GB and E uh, Ireland here, so that's looking good. We've got a few symbols. Um, don't drink while pregnant, recycle. So we've got the Rattler, which is um, kind of like a spritzer, a mixture. Of, it's more or less a shandy, so that's coming at 2.5%. So we're expecting from the picture there a bit of a lemon flavour being, you know, I'd say the Rattler is pretty much what we translate from German to um, Shandy in the UK or in English. Uh, the next one we've got up here is the Perlenbacher Cloudy Vice Beer. So Vice Beer will be cloudy, um, so it's unusual to see that on a, on a Vice Beer. Again, three stars, so the highest possible accolade awarded by Perlenbacher to itself. Uh, interestingly enough, here we've got uh, Great British and Irish instructions, um, Espana, so they should be two to go, uh, Netherlands, France, um, Austria, I don't know why that's not covered under uh, BE for Germany, but uh, Italia, and this one's um, interesting, we've got a little Stiftungen called KG, Stiftenberg stars at Eins, Day A Nicholson. So I'd say that's the, the head office of Lidl in Germany, Nicholson. Nicholson. Not too sure about the pronunciation on that. Once again, we've got a few other symbols 18 plus, don't think and die, drive, don't drink while pregnant. Um, Beth E symbol under the. Uh, Underneath that, which I don't know if that means ferrous, um, but we've got the green point recycling thing, and this contribution has been made towards recycling, and then also put a layer bin. So, a lot of really vague stuff there. Um, five percent alcohol and uh, five hundred mils on that one. So, we'll be previewing that one. Uh, next up, we've got strong seven point nine percent double malt. Brewed according to the German purity law, creamy and quality strong beer. Once again, three stars. Plethora of um, thing 
this here. So we've got um, AT and CH, that'll be Austria and um, Switzerland, GB, Ireland, Portugal, Netherlands, Benelux, uh, Netherlands, Belgium, Belgium and um, Luxembourg again. It's got LU and CH there, so that won't be Luxembourg, that must be somewhere else, but CH being Luxembourg. Uh, Italian, Luxembourg again. Uh, so probably quite a few languages there. We've got BG in this written in Cyrillic, so I should not Bulgaria. Um, GR and CY, that's um, Greek. Another type of letters there. So we were saying this one is going to be exported to quite a few different spots. I'm just looking for the Brewers postcode, but I can't actually. Just says, yeah, the necklace on again, uh, Deutschland, Alemania. So it doesn't actually tell us where it's brewed, but it shows us the manufacturing postal in Germany. So. And then the um, Pearl and Back of Pills, which is what we're assuming to compete with with our green bottle of pills. Again, three stars. Oh, not three, not three, three. Yeah. What I'm going to do is I've got myself four glasses. We're going to keep hold of this one because. Deserves its own separate review. So we're gonna pop a couple of these. Uh, we're gonna have a try of them. Uh, I suppose we're going order from left to right. Just gonna pour the size beer out because I think this this is need to pour in these I'm not into to, to cloudy beers and ice beers per se to be perfectly honest um, so I think it's only the moment to settle that one so now we are Whatever we do, we're going to struggle to produce the traditional uh, German cough or foot or head. So we're going to need to mix it up. So, let's kick off with the Rattler, see where that takes us. Yeah. Yeah. Surprisingly, not a bad drop. <laughs> I don't condone drink driving for one minute, but you know what it said to me? That I just thought that's the sort of thing you drink if you're driving, that you shouldn't drink any alcohol if you're driving. But what I was just looking at there is it didn't have the don't drink and drive symbol on it, uh, which definitely has the. What was it on that one? Yeah, that one did. Yes, the vice player don't drink and drive so well. The rest are just going in for a bit of recycling uh, and things. Yeah, so I'm um, for, for a rattler, uh, you know. It was a <clears throat> hot summer's day in Frankfurt, older or so, and you know, refreshing your beer on the terrace or something, you know, maybe a. Maybe a summer's day sort of beer. We'll, we'll forget about the driving thing. We'll bring that the barn off of the train station. Somewhere where we're safe within public transport and we'll use the U-Bahn or one of the
the other great German transport systems to get ourselves home safely. <clears throat> so next up, Cloudy Vice Beer. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's cloudy. It's not like the cool, crisp, strong thing. It doesn't smell too overpowering, which which is an instant issue with vice beer. And it doesn't seem to have any, any floaters in the head or anything like that. All the things that that I would say are massive downfalls of vice beer. Well, that is surprising. I was not expecting that to be particularly nice. And, and it's not particularly nice, but it's not particularly bad. And I was expecting... <coughs> I wasn't expecting that to be particularly nice. I've had some wise beer under fast, good quality draft beer that I paid for in Germany on a nice warm day. And I've asked for something in my best German. And how on earth, when I, in this instance, I asked for a Jaeger beer. And they brought me a Heisen beer or something. It is like, that's heartbreaking. It was nothing. It was a nickname for a vice beer. It wasn't what I'd asked for. And it was awful. And it was a premium branded full price vice beer. That tastes far better than I, expect, than I expected, but it's slightly rather, it's not something I would make, it wouldn't be something I would go out to, to, to purchase, you know. Um, right, next up is the Perlbacker Strong Double Malt. Again, it's not offensive smelling. That's got that strong, Bel you know, I'm going to say Belgium, but Belgium has a lot of strong lagers and they, they have that strong lager taste. Germany also has a strong lagers and we have that strong lager taste. That has that strong lager taste. I don't drink a lot of strong lagers, so again, like the vice beer, my, my recommendation wouldn't be that good because I'm not that used to it, but I was expecting, <clears throat> again with this one, I was expecting something that, that wouldn't be palatable to consume, something that wouldn't be enjoyable. You know, I, I've been to Belgium, I've drunk some of the Belgian beers, and I, they don't excite me, they're okay, but I'm not that much of a connoisseur that I need to be drinking this kind of stuff. So, even though I'll be in Belgium, I won't be going looking out all those special beers because to me it's just a little bit a little bit too much on those strong ones you know um i just i wasn't going to open this one but i want to just compare it now for color and um head against that double mold should i just pour it out and don't skip it I don't know. Um, whether We've not got great light in here, by the way, as you may have noticed, so you, you at home might not notice the colour variation, but I'd like to just check it for myself. Yeah. I'll be honest with you, teammates.
visually I can't see any difference in them two. I'm not sure if you're supposed to be able to see any difference, but I can't see any difference. Yeah, the, the scent of the stronger one, which probably bad percentage of alcohol, you can smell that. They do smell different. Yeah. So it's like, it smells like citrus fruit. Yeah, I think the, uh, the clear winner is the uh, is the petals. Don't really see where where that strong lager would fit into um, anybody's itinerary, perhaps. If they still was half past ten closing time on a Sunday and you got in at ten o'clock, you might like to have a couple of them. Um, but generally, I wouldn't really be consuming that. And similarly with the wise beer. Imagine the scenario, you're at the train station, the train's about to, the train's going in 30 minutes, you walk off to the bar, you know there's a couple more bars, you get in there and the guy says, we've only got vice beer. I'd probably have that one over the choice of some others. Purely because I know I've got 30 minutes uh, and I'm not going to go start trawling bars to find another place. So, as for white beer, it's not offensive. Um, and I have had some offensive white beers, so but yeah, I'm gonna give that one a thumbs up. Um, as for the Radler, yeah, I can imagine it. You've been around one of the street markets in a busy European centre or something like that, and it's that time where it's a bit too early to start with a drink, but you want something a little bit refreshing, then yeah, I think a, a nice cold rattler on a hot day, in the right place of some stifling capital city somewhere, yeah, there's a possibility for it, but um, definitely, if you have the choice, this is the one you want to be going for, as for the rest of them, yeah. Oh. I think, the, uh, I think definitely this uh, the UK pearl backer one would be. But then we're, we're talking canned beverages now to bottle beverages. So, um, yeah, definitely. We'll go for this one. Right, the final thing we've got now is price. So, this one here, uh, as of um, October 22, that's 59 euro cents, which equates to approximately 51 UK pence. The vice beer is 69 euro cents, so 10 cents more. I don't see what you're buying for 10 cents more, to be perfectly honest. So that comes in around about 60 new pence UK. Uh, 94 cents for the build back strong, which is approximately 82 new pence in the UK. Um, yeah, why you would almost want to double your price? I don't see a lot of benefit for that. Now, the surprise to me is the the Radler is still in at sixty nine euro cents, which is approximately sixty uh, new pence in the UK. So it's the same price as that. It's ten cents dearer than this. It's Unless it's four point nine percent alcohol, that's two point five. So volume wise, you're getting the same. There, you're getting half as much alcohol. Here, you're getting the well, you're getting point one. That's five and four point nine. So I don't see where your ten cents is going there. Why 
why you would want to pay more for for the less taste, less quality in this example, less alcohol. So I know the volume's the same, so um I just got a text come in. Um the green equivalent of this in the UK, um the premium pills can, which is we'll have to do another video on that because I've gone but it's pill back in a can basically. That is eighty one new pence sterling. So So yeah, it's definitely the cheapest, at £51. Pence. Uh, these bottles in the UK cost £1.09 pence as of the time of the video making, but it's a bottle and not a can, so the, the drinking experience of the bottle is, is far better than a can, you don't have to have any of the taste, but this is what we're presented with and we can only um, we can only work with the tools that we're given. But I hope that allows you to make an informed choice if you're selecting Bill and Backer brand on your visit to the Netherlands anytime soon. And I uh, hope you enjoy responsibly. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you um, want more videos of the Netherlands or Bill and Backer or any other subject that we'll cover.